So Dave, so often when we talk with uh, folks coming into our office, they say, oh, I'm fine, I'm okay. I have some in stocks or equities, some in bonds. Uh, this has been what I've been told by the financial community and I'll be okay. Boy, we hear that a lot, don't we? And this is a great example about how there is no one strategy that fits everyone. But more importantly, that the world changes and what worked at one period in history may not work in the other. And boy, this is the best example of Chase I can give folks of that. For the last 30 years, there's been this ongoing idea that, again, just as you, you said it very well, diversify between stocks and bonds. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people still purport that and mm -hmm. it, it, there's still there's a place for that. But the reasoning behind it was because we've got about a 30 year window here where bonds performed very well. I mean, sure. many people would say, hey, I've averaged five, six percent out of my bonds or my bond mutual funds. Yep. So I had some in stocks that was more volatile, sure. but maybe did better than my bonds. But then I had a whole section in bonds that was less volatile, less risky, mm -hmm. but was still spitting out four or five or six percent. And that's worked for them. So the idea would be if it worked before, it'll work in the future. Right. Well, here's the big wake up call. In the financial world, that is actually inaccurate. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. The rule in the investment world is what's happened in the recent past is more likely that that won't be happening in the recent future. Think of life like a pendulum, right? The pendulum swings one way, then it's gonna swing back. When it swings up, it's not gonna to continue to swing up. Mm -hmm. Here's the example. The reason bonds have performed so well over the last roughly, would you say, 30 years? Yeah, 30 or 40 years now. Right, it's because for 30 years, interest rates have been steadily dropping for 30 years. And when interest rates drop, and this sounds like it doesn't make any sense, doesn't it? When interest rates drop, the bonds you're already holding or your bond mutual funds actually even make more money. Right. Right. So think of it like a seesaw. Remember, we used to play on those seesaws. We probably did. I don't know if you put back into video games at that point. But back in the day, before video games, we played out on the playground and there was a seesaw. Right. And when one kid went down, the other child went up. Well, that's how bonds work. If right. interest rates go down, then the return you get in your bonds or your bond funds actually goes up. Well, for the last 30 years, interest rates have been dropping. Right. Right. And as they have done, you've been getting, that's why everyone's gotten such a good return on their bonds. Yeah. Now what's different? Yeah. So what's different now is essentially we're at 0% interest rates. So the argument there is there's really only two ways that interest rates can go. Right, Dave? So we're here, we're at the bottom, we're at pretty much zero. They can either continue to stay low over a long period of time, which is possible, right? Or they could start to uh, start to turn up and interest rates start to um, start to grow. So if interest rates start going up, it's the exact opposite of what you were talking about before, right? Yeah, remember my seesaw? Exactly. So interest rates now go up. Right. Your bond mutual funds, your value in your bonds, actually go low. And I can't think of a better example of that as many folks tell us, and you can try this too. If you look at where interest rates have been creeping up, mm -hmm. right? If you look at a period where interest rates are creeping up, you may have actually had a negative return in your bonds. So imagine the old model having say 40% in bonds, because you think you were going to get five or 6%, but instead you're losing maybe just one or 2%, mm -hmm. right? Year after year, over 20 or 30 years of retirement. Boy, that could be a huge drag on your retirement. Exactly, and a lot of folks um, who have been saving or investing over the past almost 40 years now, That's right. this is a phenomenon that really we have not seen. We I think uh, interest rates topped out in the 80s. I know you've told me stories about 15% mortgage rates. I couldn't even imagine that being a thing, but it certainly was a thing. Yes, it um, was. So now that we're in this new period that a lot of folks have not even experienced, um, we have to change our investment strategy accordingly. That's exactly what works. So the, the takeaway is what has worked over the last 30 years right? because of a falling interest rate environment mm -hmm. may actually be a disaster in the next 10 to 20 years as interest rates turn it's like low tide and high tide, right? Yep. Well, we were in go moving into low tide. Now we're going to be moving into high tide. So things are just different. Now, the good news is there are solutions. Yep. Bond alternative vehicles that can accomplish what you used to want to accomplish in bonds. 
which is less volatility, but still a rate of return. Yep. There are things that you can do. It's just, you've got to be aware that we've got, you've got to pivot a little bit, Yep. right? If you stick with what worked in the past, that only works if everything's the same. And the only thing we know for sure, and you said it best, the only thing we know for sure about bonds is they can't continue like they've continued because Correct. we're at 0% interest. Something's got to give and both scenarios are going to mean that we're not going to get a return that most people are expecting from their bonds. Exactly. And to, to how we kind of open this video, um, not to say that you won't be okay, but that traditional 60 to 40% uh, percent split that we've all heard, and if you've uh, read anything about finance, a lot of people follow that mantra, that may not work in the future because, every, to your point, Dave, everything's different now. It, well, it, it may not work. It's just going to have to take other strategies, yep. right? And there are other strategies. You just got to be aware of them. Yeah, exactly. So I think that summed it up. I think it did. I think it did. So if uh, you liked our video today, you could like, you, sub you can subscribe. Uh, also, we encourage folks to leave uh, comments so yeah. we can have topics for our next videos. Yeah, I love having uh, our talks mm -hmm. based on the comments. We know we're talking about what the folks really want to hear. So we uh, make those comments and we'll actually reply to them with, uh, with more talks. Yeah.